Hey man, how's it going? How are you doing, guys? Good, how are you? Doing good, man. I was on a bike ride, enjoying the earth, the scenery. That's, that's good, that's good. I've been living here my whole life and we get caught up in our bubble. We don't even see like there's a bunch of beautiful stuff everywhere. I mean, don't get yeah. me wrong, the world's pretty bad sometimes, you know, but I try to focus on the good. Sure, sure, man. Um, this is cool. You guys are selling these books, you're giving out cards and stuff? Uh, they're free, actually. Nice. So, do you know about Islam? Have you heard about Islam? No, I've seen I've seen it many times. Uh, always optimistic. Anything positive, anything to do with positivity, you know, getting grounded with yourself, and you know, that's that, that's, that's it's beautiful. But I don't know much of it, much of it. Okay. Um, but it's so, so when you say positivity, how do you define positivity? Mm, just uh, someone that has been causing you know, no no. No ruckus, you know. I, I was incarcerated for about three months, and I ran into a few uh, people that would, you know, would uh, uh, pray, if I believe, correct? Yeah. And they were. They were Muslim. Yeah, they're Muslim. Okay. They're beautiful people, you know. They weren't trying to harm nobody. They're just there, wanting to worship who they worship, and just get on with their life, you know. Sure. Sure. And just, you know. Do you, draw, do you believe in God? I do believe in God, 100. Okay. I see you're wearing the. Yeah, the, yeah. But I do. I believe in anything that has to do with just you know life you know that's the way i look i don't know 100 percent what islam what the religious of it is and okay. you know the, the details of it okay. but from what it, it looks like from my interpretation is that you guys just you know living your guys life in peace you know you guys mind your business you guys mm -hmm. take care of each other sure and like i said i'm, I'm pretty foreign to it so i'm not i don't want to you know say and well I, that's I don't fine really know. that's it's all right to ask questions if you don't know yeah exactly look in islam we believe that all of this beauty that you're describing mm -hmm. was created by a creator, right? It Correct. didn't just pop into existence exactly. by itself, right? And it didn't pop itself into existence. And it didn't, it wasn't always here. It had to be, it had to have a beginning at some point, right? Exactly. So God created the universe. That being that created everything, we call that God, okay. right? For starters, that's, that's the starting okay. point, right? Okay. So it's a creator, right? Now that creator, if you use your intellect, you use your mind, you think about it, that creator, had to have been one creator. There couldn't have been more than one creator, Correct. right? Because then if there's more than one creator, then each creator would go off with what he created and he, they could have disagreed. Yeah. One creator likes you, he wants to keep you alive, another cre creator wants you dead. That's, <laughs> that's the end of it, right? That doesn't work. So we believe that there had to be one creator. And we believe that that creator was eternal. In other words, had to have always existed. It was a necessary being. We are all dependent. We all need something to exist. We need something to start our existence. In other words, same thing with the whole universe. But that one creator that created the universe, that doesn't apply to. He's a creator outside of creation. Get, okay. get that? Okay, a creator and, outside of creation. Right, so he's not part of the creation itself, in other words. Correct. Correct. Right? So that's, that's the main belief in Islam. A creator is Allah, God. Allah, the yeah. ultimate God, Allah. All right? The almighty God. The almighty God. Yeah. Right. The, the, the Alpha, right? The, the first and the last, the God. Now that God created us, and then you would expect, okay, so he created this universe, he created us. Did he just leave us astray or did he give us laws to live by? So we know that the universe is governed by certain laws. We call them laws, laws of physics, right? Laws of nature. We call them that, but what they really are to us is just observations we've made of how the universe functions. So those laws were set for the universe, but mankind is a little bit different than the rest of the universe, even the, even the rest of living life, yeah, right? Because we have something called free will, right? We have the ability to think and do for ourselves, right? We plan ahead. We can plan for something, things to happen in the future, whereas no, no other creature can. So. We kind of need a special manual to live by. We need something, we need some form of guidance. Definitely. It's us that need it, right? Yes. And that's where we say God sent us prophets, messengers, mm. to deliver us a message, right? Because, I mean, if you, were, if you were to build something really, really well, you need help. right? If you were to build a car and you were to give that car to somebody to operate, they wouldn't know how to operate it unless you told them how. So what do you include with the car? You give them a manual, yeah, right? Manual. Right. They, they read the manual, right? They need to fix something, they look back at the manual. They learn how to work with the car, right? It's the same thing for us. We're given this earth to live on for a short period of time. Yeah, right, we need help. And we need help Absolutely. figuring out what's right, what's wrong. I mean, 
what you think is good, I might disagree with you on. And what I think is good, you might disagree with me on, right? And if you go to another country somewhere else, they'll probably have a completely different view altogether. But the reality is, is that there can only be one good thing. One of them, one thing can be good and another thing can be bad. So there has to be an objective truth to what is good, what is morally good. There has to be an objective, you know, a, a, a truth in what is good. So this is truthfully good and that is subjectively. So that's just your opinion. And that could even change with time. What you think is good today, tomorrow you might think is bad, sure. right? Or vice versa. Sure. So what we need is a, a way to, that we can be guided so that we can find good and bad at all times. To be able to figure out how we need to live according to how we were created. Yeah. Right? That makes sense. Yeah, and, right. And who knows better as to what, how we should live than the one that created us. Yeah, correct. Right? Correct. I mean, he put everything in motion for us. So he's all-knowing. He knows everything. And he's powerful, at least, to, at least to the point where he can create everything. So he's all-powerful. Yeah, something definitely divine had to be. Exactly. You know, exactly. On its own, like you so said. that is our concept of God. Okay. So, so Allah is just another word. In, in, it another, means God. Yeah. Even even you know, Christians who are Arabs, mm -hmm. they use the word Allah for God. Okay. I've, I've always been fond of it. It's never been oh, something sure, where I was sure. like, what is that? I've always been like, well, hmm. I'm like, that's interesting. Right. Right. You know, right. Culture. Other people's culture is interesting. You learn something off of everybody's, you know, right. bit of history or bit of way that they move. So. I appreciate you explaining it to me because uh, I, I knew that it was God, but I didn't know specifically if it was the same God. And out of you know being respectful, I always always you know tread lightly on it. Sure, sure. But uh, look, this is the first time I've we're ever... here for people to ask questions. If you have questions, don't don't be afraid to offend me with a question. Right. All right. There's ways to offend people, but a question, in my view, isn't one of them. If you're asking to sincere about it, you're in the right then you're then you're in the I right direction. You're looking for truth. People ask right? me, I had a struggle with faith. I'm like, I question it. I'm like, as long as you're questioning it, that's Good sign, See, you know, you're, you're that's the thing. You're meant to use the one thing that God gave you, which is your intellect, mm -hmm. to find God. Your and it's and it's part of your intuition, part of your your innate disposition, right? Your 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 natural self yeah, from the day you're born to to have to have something to look for, right? right? To seek. So God put that in you, put that in me, and put that in everybody, so that we can find Him mm -hmm. using our intellect. So. Right. We've defined that God is one. What do you think of that? That there could, could there be more than one God? One, I think, how you said other disciples type, like help, but one God for sure. There's definitely one, one, God. one God. Now, he created man, he created such, and he sent prophets. It wasn't disciples, it's prophets, it's prophets right? Yeah. So they're not disciples of God, they're prophets of God, they're messengers of God. So he sent a message with certain people. And in Islam, we believe he sent prophets to every nation everywhere, every group of people every tribe throughout history received a message and if they were all sent by the same god it only makes sense that that message was the same message right right was, i mean different right probably. but maybe different for each tribe in terms of what they need at the time right exactly what they, they need to live right they need a faith in because it's right. so hard to grasp faith in this world sometimes. right and sometimes right. this this group of people live in a situation where their laws and regulations need to be different than another group that lives somewhere else where their laws and regulations, you know, where the same laws and regulations wouldn't help. So they'd each get the message, a messenger, with the same message of there's only one God, this is how he wants you to live, and then it may be a slightly different set of rules, right. depending on the time period they lived in, depending on where they lived in. Kind of all like combined, but right? Right. The one it, it, it all goes back to the one, one religion, right? right? The one main faith, the one belief. Yeah in the one true God, right? Now, as time progresses for humanity, humanity changes. Yeah. Humanity, adapt, you know, we adapt, we, we progress. Today, if you go back 2,000 years ago, there was different tribes living in different places. Everybody had their own deal. Today, the world is basically one big tribe. I mean, we're all, we could go anywhere, you could meet everything, there's internet today, right? Yeah, so there had to be a point in time where eventually, all of humanity would have to be united under one message. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does make a lot of sense. Damn. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 If you if we if we stayed divided, it'll then never, it'll then never, right then never figure out what it is. right we could never live in peace. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That if you sense. had a set of laws and I had a set of laws and you define this as good and I define that as good, then we constantly be at each other's throats. 
But the reality is, is that at one point in time, that message has to become united for everybody. Mm. Now, as God sent prophets and messengers, He sent, for example, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, and Muhammad, peace, be, peace and blessings be upon them all. They were all sent for their own tribe except for Muhammad. Muhammad from the beginning was sent for all mankind. Even though he was in a tribe in, in Arabia, in Mecca, he was sent for all of mankind. Even the Quran, it, you know, right away it says, we have only sent you as a mercy to all of the nations, all of creations, all of men. To be loving for all races, no matter you and your As a mercy to them, right, so that we, they can be reminded to worship the one God and follow his, his final laws that were revealed to the Prophet Muhammad. Someone so different, able to relate to, that's the beauty of it, right? Right, right. And from the beginning, he had, you know, fellows and companions him who were you know, uh, from Abyssinia, they were African black. He had uh, from Rome, from Persia all and types. Arabs. They were all types of people around him from the beginning with no discrimination. No one was better than the other. In fact, he said the opposite. He said there is no betterness between a white man and a black man or a black man over a white man or an Arab over a non-Arab or a non-Arab over an Arab, except in piety, in, in you know, your mindfulness and your fear of God. That is how God sees you as being better. The closer you are to God, the better you are in His eyes. Doesn't matter your skin color, doesn't matter what language you speak, doesn't matter where you were born. At the end of the day, God looks at what you do and how you, what you believe, all right? Your, your, heart, intentions. your intentions, right, yeah. right. So that is the, me the main message of Islam. And it's meant to live according to the commandments of God, you know, the law, the, the book of laws, the, the, the rule book, yeah, yeah. as to how God wanted you to live. And if you live that way, God promises you a good life in this life and in the hereafter. Now, hardship or whatever that happens in this life, this life is short. You can live to be 200, right? But it's still short with eternity, yeah, definitely, right? Definitely. Right? It, I mean, it's still a dot on the number line. Yeah, yeah. Right? I mean, if I'm Craig, we used to live to like 500 or something like that back then. Sure. You know, we're going yeah. shorter yeah. and shorter. But you're right. You're absolutely yeah. right. Absolutely. So the idea is it doesn't matter how long you live. It could be, live to be 10,000. It doesn't matter, right? Yeah. At the end of the day, if you're living for eternity, 10,000 is nothing. It's <laughs> right? temporary. Basically. It's, yeah, it's basically temporary. And this, yeah. this earth is a means for us to basically pass a test mm -hmm. to either go to paradise or to be punished. That's what I feel. Right? That's true. And that's the most important thing. Now, the question is, all right, today in the world there's a lot of different religions yeah, right. different faiths so how do we find which faith is true that's the question yeah it's tough yeah everybody's trying to find the right they want to get right, right with god so you, they're like, you want to be on the right path right so the question is how do you find the right path well remember those prophets and messengers that were sent mm -hmm. the first thing you could do is try to test them see like how is that What's, what's, what's their deal? Why do they say that they're prophets and messengers, right? right? So if you look at, you know, Abraham, he performed miracles. Moses performed, he parted the Red Sea, right? He, he, right? Jesus yeah. performed miracles, cure the blind, right? Mm -hmm. But they yeah. all did that with God's, God's yeah. ability, right? God gave them that ability, right? Working it was God's that. will that allowed them to do it. Prophet Muhammad, peace be, peace be upon him, who claims to be the last messenger, he was the only one who claimed to be for all of mankind, right? The, the final of all of them. That Prophet Muhammad, peace be, peace be upon him, what, peace be upon them all. Uh, I, right, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, uh, sure. Uh, well, as Muslims, we believe in Jesus and Moses, peace, peace and blessings upon them just as much, you know. So, uh, it's it's very important, you know, to, to be respectful of these I prophets and messengers of God. It's, it's good that you guys have strong faith and, you know, and you guys still are open minded. So, oh, you right. know, but you guys stick to it. You stand for something, that's, I love that. When someone stands for something, yeah, yeah, we have to, we have yeah. to, basically, if it's truth and we yeah. believe it's truth, then you right. have to stand by it, right? And at the end of the day, your gut knows if it's wrong or not. Even exactly. If, even if, say, oh, no, no, I, if someone's being, right. you know, you know, biased or, you if know, if you're in doubt, you might compromise. Yeah. You but know. if you're, if you know you're upon truth, there's yeah. no compromise, yeah, right? You guys feel, you know, righteous and you guys follow what you guys follow. Alhamdulillah. And that's why I love to communicate. I appreciate this conversation. Absolutely. Uh, what's it's your name? Ramzi. Ramzi? Yeah. Your Brandon. Name? Brandon. 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 Oh, so awesome. when we put Muhammad, peace be, peace be upon him, to the test to see if he's a prophet or not, you got to look at his miracles. See, all the other miracles 
all the other prophets that came with miracles, their miracles kind of expired. They ended. They happened for the people around them. They were testimony for them, but then they ended. Yeah. But it makes sense that the prophet whose message was meant to be the last message and last for eternity, it makes sense that his, his miracle would be eternal as well. And his miracle, the prophet Muhammad, peace, peace be upon him, he performed miracles in his lifetime, but his miracle that exists today is the Quran. The Quran is the holy book, the, the holy book of Islam, right? Okay. okay. And it is the revelation of God. It is the word of God. Now the prophet Muhammad, peace, peace be upon him, he lived in a time where poetry was the wow. big thing, right? It was yeah, like, yeah, poetry. right? Poetry was really important, right? But this was specific Arabic poetry. Language was a high, was a, was a high qualifier in his time, right? Now the problem with, with Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he was illiterate, couldn't read or write, and he was known for it. But when he received revelation, he came with this book that wasn't like anything else that they had ever heard. That he created, right? That well, he didn't create it. it. It was revelation well, it that was came a... to him, right? Okay, so okay. He, he would hear the words and then he would recite them. Okay. And then people would write them down. And we have that, those writings, that, like that book has been transmitted from one generation to the next awesome. for 1,400 years and it hasn't of changed poetry. At all, it, it hasn't changed at all. It's not like and there's, the there's still copies. It up, right. It it up so much. Exactly. Now the Quran, it's the same Quran we have today as 1400 years ago, yeah. all right? Uh, there's copies, there's manuscripts, course, you know, carbon right. dated back the to that time, which, which is not, not only the message, the wording is the same, Aye, all right? Cool. Now, not only the, that, the Quran. The Quran. The Quran. I got it right here. Oh, this one. Okay. This is an interpretation in English and Spanish, if, if you're interested. So, the, the, and these are free, though. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll yeah, sure. So, the Quran is, his miracle, right? He came with something that was greater, surpassed everything else. But the challenge of the Quran is where it really gets important, is the really important part, is that he came and said, this is revelation from God, not just because of look how beautiful it is, but because it can, be not, it can not be matched, right? right? So he, it came with a challenge. The poets of the time, the, the, the people who like specialized in Arabic li literature, poetry, all they was, it was told to them, just come up with, produce a Quran like it. Just produce a book like it. Tell you what, produce 10 chapters like it. Or like Tell it. you what, produce one chapter like it. That's in the Quran. That, that, like, you've never seen a book that challenges anyone else to come up with something similar. I mean, it doesn't matter how great of a science book it is. Science can always be enhanced and yeah, improved. Yeah. And, but the Quran, the linguistic level of it can't be matched. It was divine. It was it's divine. It, that was the challenge, and, it, and the challenge, right, right, the miracle. And that challenge exists until today. Somebody can produce a Quran like the one we have, or one chapter like the chapters in the Quran today. Your... A chapter is like three verses can be, right? Three verses. Come up with something similar, and you've disproven all of Islam altogether. But for 1,400 years, nobody's been able to do that. And they still won't. They can't. Yeah, they can't. Right? And you know, uh, that's the beauty, I think, too, of it. It's its own. You know, it'd be cool if someone to try to match it at least, but I don't think they've tried. They've it tried. Oh, I've I've uh, I've seen books. I've seen books where cri Arab Christians, Arab Christians, and you know, they're they're Arab. They speak Arabic. They know they learn the language. They've come up with books, and then you know they say this is our attempt to you know make something Sense of biblical. You know, in the in the biblical terms, with Quranic style, and that it's nothing close. It's not even close. That's awesome because you guys have this, and you're still like hoping for other, you know, you guys are like Jesus and everything, but this impacted you guys. We, be so we believe in Jesus because we believe he was sent by God. Now, yeah. here's the other question. So we, that's how we know that pro the Prophet Muhammad, that's one of the ways we know Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was in fact a prophet, a messenger of God. Another one would be the prophecies he made, right? He talked about prophecies that would happen later, far later. Like he talked about, you know, the, the barefoot Bedouin Arabs would, you know, who were basically in Arabia who were living in the desert go back a hundred years ago they were they were hungry yeah. right yeah. and he said that they would be uh, they would be competing in tall buildings where's the highest building today yeah. in the world in the world I'm it's not Dubai, Dubai. Oh, yeah, in yeah, Dubai, Dubai right right and that's that's, right. that's the thing they're Man, competing so cool. in, in high towers high buildings yeah, so he knew, how would he know that centuries ago from the, and he, he talked about the people who were poor and you know, in poverty. Back there, you know, right. so he said the earth 
would puke its treasures. Mm. The earth in Arabia would, would puke its treasures. I, what yeah. comes out of Arabia? Oil. Oil, oil yeah, oil that's, is very big. It comes it's puked out of the earth, right? That's, that's what, those are prophecies he made. Not only that, but he also made prophecies that would come to be, he gave him a time limit that would happen in his own lifetime. Like the Persians uh, losing to the Romans. He said that that would happen within a few years, and it did. If that had, if he had died without that happening, they said it would have said, you know what, this is a false prophecy. So if you look at the question that kind of blows your mind, right? right, like, right. How are you going to? Exactly. Another thing to look at in the Quran is this, the, you know, this scientific information, if you will, in the Quran. He uses similes and examples, you know, Allah, Allah, God, uses similes and examples to, so that we can better understand, right. but he uses them in a scientific sense. Back then, nobody would understand those similes. But today, with the advancements of science, that's the way we, we know. That's the way we move. For example, right. For example, a pulsar star, you know, a knocking star makes a knocking sound all right if that's recorded sound that we have from outer space that nobody knew about that's mentioned in the Quran the universe is expanding yeah, that's mentioned in the Quran yeah. right yeah, Albert Einstein's yeah. one that figured it out right yeah, yeah, yeah that's that, 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 that's basically yesterday in history right yeah, we're talking right. about 1400 years ago so all of these things are evidence that he is the prophet and messenger of God those miracles are definite. Now people will come up and say, yeah, but you say he split the moon or you say he, he you know, he ascended to the heavens. Yeah, we do. Those are miracles, yeah, yeah, right? Like those, are, those are outside of the natural realm that we understand. That's what's great about them. They happened for his time, for the people around him back then. But the Quran is everlasting. The miracles of the Quran continue until today. Your guys' culture is very strong too, whenever I see it loving I mean obviously everywhere has bad right sure. but for the most part like the good of it it's really good you guys look out for each other the, you know like look there's two billion Muslims roughly in two that's like one out of four people in the world are Muslim yeah, right. right they follow Islam it's not some little cult or group yeah, right yeah, it's yeah. it's a big religion and if you look here I mean we've got people from Pakistan from Afghanistan I'm half Palestinian that's my son uh, I mean that's just the four or five people we have here today all right and we've, we've kind of, that, that's Islam, right? It's not for a certain group of people from a certain place. I have a question. So it's true that where Jesus walked was Jerusalem, right? That's where his stomping grounds right. was at? That's where and I was born, by the way. That's where you were born? Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> right now, I heard it's not so good, right? It's kind of bad out there. I'm oh, yeah, oh, yeah, sure. It's under occupation. Okay. That's yeah, under it's, occupation. And now, it's, yeah. it's because due to the fact it's so holy there, right? Yeah. That's, that's one of the other reasons. That's one of the that's one of the excuses for it being... There was a building yeah. that they took down there. It's a very sacred building. I'm not too sure. And they're oh, going to try to rebuild there's, it. There's plenty. Uh, there's plenty. I see, yeah, I see there's so much history there. And what, what language is that? that? Well, they speak Arabic, mostly. Okay. Uh, the, the Arabs speak Arab, Arabic. And then the, the Jews, the Israelis, they speak Hebrew. Hebrew. Okay. Yeah. So that's, that's the main languages there. But... The other issue is, okay, so now we've identified, we understand that these prophets and these messengers all came with the same message, right? And we understand that the Prophet Muhammad was definitely one of them. The question is, what was their religion? So if I asked you, what was Jesus' religion? That's a good question, you're right. <laughs> So I mean, quick, I, you're wearing so, you're wearing so, the cross. You're wearing you know the. Well, well, we're, mother, we're so the, quick to either right? like you know Catholic Christian, but in reality he never really mentioned. He's not. He didn't say he, he was Christian. Christianity was right. a, was attached to him. He wasn't Catholic. You're right. Right. So he that th universal. those weren't his terms. By nationality, maybe you could say he was Jewish. Right, he was a Jew or the son of his the sons of Israel. Right. By nationality, but not religion. That's true. If anything, he had the same religion as Moses. Peace be upon him. Well, what was Moses' religion? Right, he he wasn't called a Jew either <laughs> because so Judah was after Moses. Yeah. So the the term Jew came after Moses. So Moses wasn't a Jew, wasn't a Christian, definitely. Yeah. So okay, what would we say? Is Israelite, sons of Israel, sons of you know uh, yeah. Jacob. Put it closest to where. Okay. It sure. Okay, sons of Israel. What about Abraham? Yeah. Abraham was Israel's grandfather, so he's not a son of Israel. He's you know, Ishmael, who was, you know, the Arabs, who Muhammad was an ascend a descendant of, was also from Abraham, but he wasn't a son of Israel. So Abraham wasn't a Jew, he wasn't a Christian, but he had the same religion, because that's what we established, right? They came, they were all messengers of the same God, give, giving the same message. So they had to have the same religion. 
What was their religion? It's so it's so crazy now you mention this because now we're going back to the history of it. It feels more, you know, towards like over there, you know, mm -hmm. not originally. I feel like we got right. twisted. Right, very right, right. They they have the concept that you know the West is Christian and the East, the Middle East is Muslim. No, they all came from the same place. There's no where does this religion belong. They're all teachings of God. Mm -hmm. They're all teachings right? of God. But the thing is, is that they were all the same religion. It, weren't, it wasn't Christianity known today. You already said that it's been changed. Yeah, the Bible definitely. itself has been changed. Definitely. The teachings Before have definitely been changed. Yeah. So it's not Christianity today. It's not Judaism today. But it's something else with a different name altogether. And it had to be the same religion as Abraham and Noah before him and Adam before him. So what was their religion? Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, what were they preaching? Let's start with that. Uh, unity of God. Okay, so unity of God. They were preaching obeying God, right? Following His commandments, mm -hmm. submitting your will to God. Okay? And that would have to be the same message for all of them, right? Yeah. Okay. Including Muhammad, peace yeah. be upon them all. Right? Was he like the last prophet? Or he the was, he's the last. Like the most he's the most recent. He's the last one. There will be no more prophets. Okay. All right? We believe Jesus will come back. He won't come back as a prophet. He'll come back to testify, to say what he actually taught mm -hmm. because of the misconceptions and the changes, changes that have happened after he left. So we know that they all had the same religion. It was one of submission and it was one of unity of God. One God, make no partners with that God. Don't associate any partners to that. He had no, no, no son, no daughter. That's what they all taught. No sons. He wasn't born. He didn't have a beginning. He has no end. He is the creator of everything. He is the Almighty, right? Don't associate partners with him. And he taught, and it was follow the commandments. Submit your will to God. So if your religion is, if you're submitting your will to God, then your religion is submission. True. Makes sense? God itself or some system. Right. God so God. submission to the the Almighty, the Creator. And if your religion is submission, then you are a submitter. Right? Now the oneness of God is what we call Tawheed. Tawheed means the belief in one God, right? The one creator, one sustainer, one God who ordered us, one one whose commandments we follow, right? But then the word for submission in Arabic. I'm, I'm just translating to Arabic. Yeah, yeah. The word submission is Islam. Mm, That's right. what Islam means, submission. So you're going to submit to God. Submit to God, yeah. right. And if you submit to God, you're a submitter. And in Arabic, that means Muslim. Mm. Okay, what so that kind of originates basically the, the root. Basically the root. Where, so that's what I feel like we're happening. I think with time, we got too worried about this is our group, this is our group, this is our group. They saw Islam and we want a group too. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't know what their thought process was. Money got involved. Uh, power you know gets involved it can it and, can yeah it sucks because I, exactly what you're saying was talking about unifying just one i think if it would have went a different route we still be more on the islam side of it mm -hmm. along with you know whatever else what everybody believes in but now that you mentioned it too when i did my own research a little bit you know we originally read from right to left correct mm -hmm. and it, uh, is it i believe the uh, the Arabic is, uh, is Arabic right to left. Is right yeah. to left. So mm -hmm. that right off the back for me was, was like green light. Like, <laughs> <laughs> SubhanAllah. All the, all the scriptures originally originated from the same region, like the Jerusalem area, like, like that. So they all speak Hebrew, Aramaic, Arabic, all have the same roots. And yeah. the, the Bible didn't the become English till like Shakespeare era. See? Okay. Like Jake, King James Version, it was translated by like a Shakespeare. Shakespeare himself, or somebody during that era that it was, it. no, it was a, he was it was someone assigned by uh, by by King James. He came up with the King James version, but it was actually translated before that, just not long before that. Yeah, yeah. I think it was in the 1400s was the first time that it came into English. So like, so, right. so like it was the Romans like that took over like uh, Christianity, Islam, like you know, like the, the Catholic Church and all that. That's all like, yeah. originally Roman. Like, uh, Jesus was like, in that time, wasn't necessarily, I mean, the Romans were there, but they were like, they were a government. You know, like yeah, the yeah, government they were, yeah, they were they secular, were. like they weren't religious, but over time they took over the religion. And they, they, they adopted the religion. Yeah. They, they, they adopted, and, they and then they, and they changed it. They, they, they modified it. Their own language to it. So that all the, the original scripture is gone. That's what I heard. Lost. That's the Bible right. now is so... Even the language well, is not spoken. See, the Bible that we have today, the Bible that the Christians use today, 
is the writings of men. Yeah, yeah. It's a bunch of books gathered, right. gathered together by men. The originals that they have are in Greek. Okay, most likely Jesus, Isa alayhi salam, peace be upon him. That's all, that's all Isa is how we say his name because it was, yeah. Right. Yeah. So he was probably speaking Aramaic. Je Jesus, peace be upon him, right? And in Aramaic, the word for God is Allah. My God is Ilahi. You're probably familiar with that term if, you're, if you've read the when he was in the in the biblical story where he's hung on the cross. He says, "Elahi, Elahi, lema sabachtani." Right, Lord, Lord, my Lord, my Lord, why have you forsaken me? Right. So that's that's what the Bible talks about. But in Islam, there's a different concept of Jesus. Jesus is a prophet. He was born miraculously. We believe he was the Messiah. We believe he was saved by God and lifted up. He wasn't crucified. Nobody carries anybody else's sins. You get judged for what you do. And it's up to you to repent and do right by those who you who you've wronged, and that's the, the that's the way for everybody, right? You get God's mercy, and that's how you enter paradise. But you have to ask Him for His forgiveness for the sins that you've committed, right? You have to repent. Repentance is how you get salvation in Islam, and in every religion sent by every prophet, not not by somebody sacrificing himself for you. That, that's and the truth too. Our connection, we submit your will to God. That's what Jesus did. He submitted himself. When he wanted something, he would ask God. And that they showed us the way. Yeah. They, were, they were men just like us. So what they did, we are capable of doing. Exactly. Yeah, you know, we, but we like they were, they were, they were a higher saying. status than normal human beings, right? They were chosen yeah. by God to, to right. bring his message. Hence the word and Messiah. Names, Messiah means like, miracle. And that's why how I looked at other religions like Buddha and all that. It's God trying to reach out to that group. And, Particular Similar in that, with Buddhism, what you know, happens is people start following the messenger. Yeah, yeah. When it, it's not to follow Buddha. it, to hear it, right? Yeah, and because to guide your, guide right. Because of his wisdom that he shared with them and his yeah. experience, the, the, the people associate. I mean, we don't know. We don't, we as in Islam, we know that there have been thousands of prophets. Right. We know 25 of them by name, right? The rest, it, it doesn't. We don't have to know them, because they came for a certain people, for a certain time. But at the end. All humanity was gathered in the one religion, Islam, by the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And he would be the, the uh, final messenger. I've seen a lot of famous people that go, like, closer, and they end up... Becoming... Know, they, 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 they go from one to the next to the next to Islam. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I, I pray at my house, and I've done the motion just because it feels like... SubhanAllah. It feels... Right. It's the way like that the prophet. Right now, I feel it right now. Yeah. I feel it kind so of. Good. I'm giving it me goosebumps. Warming. It feels warming. It feels welcoming. But why? Why don't you do that in a way where Allah Azza wa Allah accepts it from you and comes closer to you as you you're trying to come close to Him. You're right. When you're praying, you pray for guidance, right? Yes. You, God guide me. Yes. That's the first in the first chapter in the Quran, seven verses, one chapter. In the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most merciful, the most uh, compassionate. All praise be to Allah, the Lord of all the worlds, the most merciful, the most compassionate, owner and sustainer of the day of judgment. You alone we worship, and you alone we ask for aid. Guide us upon the straight path, the path of those you, whom you have blessed, not the path of those who have uh, brought down your wrath or those who have gone astray. I mean, that is the first chapter in the Quran. That we pray, that we, when we pray on our prayers, we say that every time we pray. It's said, we say that at least 17 times a day as Muslims. Beautiful. All right? So, yeah, I mean, you're, you're telling me you're already praying like, like a Muslim, like you, yeah, right? Yeah, I, I saw it and it was, it's in my so own time just to what's, not be What's keeping you from I, taking the step? becoming a Muslim you know, because I haven't really it's the guidebook like I said this life is a test definitely, you don't know definitely. when your test ends you don't know when it you know they pens down right that's that's it you're, you're done with your test in other words you don't know when you're gonna die yes. nobody knows yes. I don't know I don't know when my kids will die I don't know when my parents will die I don't know anything right what I know is that this is a test yeah. it starts at one point and it's gonna end and it will end definitely yeah, yeah. It could end in a minute and it could end in a hundred years it doesn't matter but the question is, what, how ready am I to pass the test? Yeah. 
what have I done to move forward in that direction? And what's holding me back? So what the question is again, you yourself, I can't, I can't push you into being a Muslim. I can't trick you into being a Muslim. I can't force you into being a Muslim. I, not only am I not allowed to, I, phys I can't. Yeah, yeah. There's, I mean, there, yeah, it doesn't work. Very genuine, right. I if if, very if genuine. I trick you into being a Muslim, then I, you're not a Muslim. Yeah, if I force yeah. you, if I put a sword to your neck and say, you be, become a Muslim and you say, okay, I'm a Muslim, you're not a Muslim because it has to be from within your heart. Right. So it's, it's, it's about you and your relationship with Allah first. Islam, right? Submitting to God, right? That's the whole idea. You submit your will to God and live according to the way He taught. And you work on learning what did He want me to do. You keep opening up that manual and you're looking for how can I better my life, right? So you're looking in the Quran, you're reading what the Prophet taught, right? Because this is the message that He gave. This is God sent me this message through this Prophet, right? How do I live according to that? Are you ready to do that? I feel like I'm on the path. I've okay. been on the right path. I but, think I, I, you seem like you have. I submit myself you've... to because he's all like God. Okay. Or, you know, God is really the only he, thing that... Allah wants you to be a Muslim, wants you to be a submitter. He wants you to be upon the religion of those prophets that he sent. Okay? He doesn't want you to just keep looking for him. Looking for him is good and all, but if you find him and you don't take him, then, you know, it's like you got to the door and now you got to walk through it. Yeah, yeah, so definitely. it's all up to you. But are you ready to do that? Okay. That means becoming a Muslim. You know, rerouting a little bit. I, I've always been op optimistic, so um, that's something. Are I you willing to take off those those the, charms? Uh, the charms. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? You know, my cousin was telling me in reality we're not supposed to worship. You know. No You're not supposed of, to have idols. No, no idols. We don't know what Jesus looked like. We don't know what Mary, exactly. Mary, peace and blessings I, be upon them both, looked like. I feel like we're giving. We we don't believe she's the mother of God. We don't yeah. believe Jesus is God. Yeah, he's like, he's like not divine. Said, he was a prophet. That's what we needed. I think the people. But as I've been getting more in faith with God, uh, the other the other night I took off my, my necklace. Mm -hmm. I took off. I have a God earring I usually have on, but I went to a job interview, and I took it all off. Mm -hmm. I was in my purest form, and I had no tattoos. Tattoos aren't bad. I think that tattoos are okay, but like I don't stay, know. stay without tattoos. I don't have any tattoos. It is actually haram. But See, yeah, uh, you don't have them, keep them off. Don't, don't, do don't, don't get yeah, any tattoos. Yeah, yeah. All right, I don't want all right. to. Yeah. <laughs> Since you're already sure there, I'll, yeah. I'll mention that now. <laughs> but, <laughs> like, don't, like, don't get a two tomorrow saying like Allah or Muhammad or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't, like, hey, don't do that. <laughs> yeah. But you know, I, I took off everything. I was in my pure form. Uh, God brought us into this world. Mm -hmm. And I, I had the best sleep of my life. Uh -huh. I had the most beautiful dreams of my life too. I was sleeping with lions and tigers. I remember in the dream, I'm dreaming. And I wake up and it's a glazed land like a, a, a plain mm -hmm. and it's grass some dead grass and I get startled in the dream I'm, I'm, I'm laying there and I lift my head up and I'm like you know like what like is there's like, like what lions is, and tigers where around am I you? At right now <laughs> I get startled for like a few seconds one gets up I'm just gonna go back to sleep <laughs> so I go back to sleep in the dream uh -huh. and out of just being out of fear like I not knowing what was going on but I didn't have a dream like that until I took off everything and I think that there's something key to that, and I think you're absolutely right. Okay. Like, like I said, I think we needed it, or America needed it. Ha have you been asking for guidance? Yes. Every do you day think? I've been... Do you think that since you've been asking for guidance for so long, it's coincidence that you came by here while we're standing here? Right. I don't believe in coincidence. No. I don't either. So right. what's keeping you from taking that step? Right. Nothing. Nothing. Only you. Right. So are you ready to become a Muslim? Uh, I'm all for it. I'm all, right. all for change. Are you ready to take those off? I'm yeah, Go I'll, for I'll it. Take it off. Go ahead. All right. Take it off. Cause at the end of you the don't day, have to. You don't have to give it to anybody. You don't just get. Well, you just it. just get rid of them. Get, you here. can keep the chain if it's worth anything. It's you know the, the silver. It, if port. I was stuck in the jungle and I had nothing and my chain falls, am I gonna stop believing in God? You know I'm. I gotta keep my faith. Exactly. Right? So, you don't need idols to worship right. God, right? You're right. I mean, there are no idols that can show you what God is. Yeah, you're right. right? You're right. Okay. You're right. So are you ready to take the testimony? I just do it. All right. You, you, know do you know what it is? Thought. Okay, let me. I'll explain it to you first so you know what you're doing. You're making a shahada, what's called the shahada. The shahada is the testimony of faith. You're, you're bearing witness that there is no God except Allah. There is no true God except Allah, right? And that Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, is a prophet and a messenger of God. And that Jesus, peace, peace and blessings be upon him, is not divine, is not a God, but is only a prophet and messenger of God. 
the, the, the message you get, the message you follow is that of Muhammad. So you take what the Quran says, you take the teachings of the Prophet Muhammad. That's what the Shahada is, that's what the testimony is. And you're making it, it's kind of like taking an oath between you and God. I, I benefit nothing from it. Nobody here gets anything out of it. All right, we get rewarded from God from for spreading His His word, yeah, right? Yeah. Which is a good thing. We we're very happy to do it. We gain a brother. All right, out of the two billion that exist today, yeah. we gain another one. But it's mostly you, and between you and God. Yeah. Yeah. Now, everything bad that you have done in your life is erased the second you make that tie with God. You're making that oath that I'm going to follow you to the best of my ability. I'm going to learn, I'm going to keep going back to that manual, learning, improving myself, becoming a better Muslim. Because that is why we were created. We weren't created to become doctors, even though being a doctor is a good thing. Yeah. We weren't created to be surgeons or, you know, architects or engineers or any, any other job you might think of, right? They're like, right. We are created to worship God and to follow His commandments. Because this life, like we said, is a test. It's got a beginning and, a, and an end. And the reason we become doctors and engineers or McDonald's workers, doesn't matter. The reason we do these things is because this is a means, a transportation for us to live this life so that we can go on to the next. That's all this, is, this life is. So, are you ready to repeat the Shahada? You want to do it in Arabic or in English first? Yeah, do it. Just go Arabic first since that was the first. Yeah, I'm not going to be the best. So. That's fine. You, I'll do it one word at a time for you. All right. right. What do I do? I just, do just raise, raise right there. Ashhadu. 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 An. An. La. La. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illa. Illa. Allah. Allah. Wa ashhadu. Wa ashhadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Abduhu. 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 Wa rasuluh. Wa rasuluh. Allahu Akbar. That's, right that's, there. that's it. Yeah. You took the shahada just now. You just did it. Okay. All right, we'll do it. We'll do it in English so you know what you said. All right. All right. That all right. was beautiful. It's also nice. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. I've got I got goosebumps too. All right. I bear witness. I bear witness. There is no true God. There is no true God except Allah. Except Allah. And I bear witness. And I bear witness that Muhammad. That Muhammad. Peace and blessings upon him. Peace and blessings upon him. Is his last messenger. His last messenger. Allahu Akbar. Now, we'll do a little extra part here because you had the Christian background, just to, just to affirm that you understand it. All right. I bear witness, I bear witness that, Jesus, son of Mary, that Jesus, Son of Mary, is a prophet and messenger of God, prophet and, messenger of God and is not divine. Not divine. Allah Akbar. There you go. That's it. That's what, give me a hug, man. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Allahu Akbar. I thank you guys Allahu so much. Allahu Akbar means God is great. Allah is great. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar.